Okay, so I want to be able to get to this, that, and that. So I'm going to put this like right there. Well, first thing we do is we tape that off. Right there is good. There we go. You see where we're going to cut? There's our hole. Sorry if I'm shading it, but it's just the way it is. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Okay. Next thing we do is we drill some holes. Lily, Lily, get back. Get, get, get. You don't need to be in here. Now, there's only... There's a light, but it's back over there. So there shouldn't be any wiring or anything anywhere near here. And as we look down through here, I can see that that wire goes straight down that way, well away from where I'm gonna be cutting. And there's nothing else anywhere in this area that I should be concerned with, so. Two cuts made, or holes drilled rather. Let's go ahead and clean that up. we get to the mess now, I can't go this way because if I try to turn I'm gonna hit so I have to go around this way and even here I'm not sure I can clear the side I think I can so we'll start here and we'll cut this side first outside the line. Well, just lost that one.
can test that hole. Oh yeah, plenty of room for that one. And that'll have complete coverage of even the spots where I went a little wide. In fact, that one hole is going to be... Boy, I'm just, those two screws aren't going to be catching much material. Should get enough though. All right. There's that. Now I want to put those screws in first. So I've got them located and in. I'll vacuum up the dust and then we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the caulk in. There's the screws. Need six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And I really want that to be kind of straight up and down like that. But what I need to double check is how the cover plate goes on there and make sure that I have my alignment right. So I want all these to be aligned correctly. See, I want it to be that way. Good movement that way, got a little too much movement that way. About right, about right there, should be good. Very careful using this much power and this much speed. Really got to watch the screw and be able to back off just as it starts digging in so you don't break the plastic. Like that one went in a little too hard. All right. Now, see, that one didn't catch. I can feel. That one didn't catch, it skipped out. So I'm gonna try aiming that. There we go, aimed at a different angle. All right, take all those off. Don't wanna lose any of them. See, that screw did the same thing. It kicked in, so I'm going to have to redo that screw out at more of an angle. All right. Let us give that a quick cleanup with the vacuum. Always trying to contain fiberglass dust as much as possible. Here comes the cock. Uh, 
Now in here, this tube, you gotta pierce that. My gun's got a little doohicker just for that purpose. Just, just a little aluminum cover thing there. Break out enough of that so we get some good flow through there. And I forgot to bring paper towels up on deck. That would have been a smart thing to do. Lily, go down and get me some paper towels. Yeah, right. That'll be the day you do something useful around here besides being goofy and eating all the food. Eating, oh, wait a minute. Got to open the back. Got to open the back. There we go. A little plastic cup in there for this to push against. Very good. Let's see, I think I want to apply the material to the lid and not to the hole. Some on the lid. Damn it. Did not want to do that. All right, well, see if we can put this in there. Definitely need to get paper towels. Oh, and I just go and touch myself where I got it there. Yep, I definitely need paper towels. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get these screws in there without making too much more of a mess. Jumping in the bay. You're not dripping on my dinghy, are you? This one I have to angle out differently. Nope, I don't want that to happen. I don't think I'm gonna get it, guys. just not going to go in there good. All right, well, that's the way it is. All right. There we go. We got a little bit of goop on here, just a little bit, just a smidge. There we go. There we go. All right, now I gotta go to paper towels because I gotta clean up this mess. Okay, after this dries, I'll be able to clean up the fiberglass with a uh, 
uh, razor blade. Get that little bit of extra residue off there. Right now I'm just trying to make sure the plastic is clean and very good. Very good. That looks nice. Nice professional looking installation right there. There we go. All right. Well, now we can put the cap back on. Now I'm going to save this cap for marking. I already got marker on this cap. No sense in marking on another one. Okay. Well, there that goes. All done. Beautiful. Now I can open this up and have access back there to bolt that uh, stanchion back on. Once we get it back from, from Douglas. Next week on my channel, we're going to be talking about a lot of citizen science projects that I've been involved with. And one's coming up, like a phytoplankton study to see how much plastic the phytoplankton is digesting. Here's a video put out by New Science. You can see the phytoplankton clearly eating plastic and digesting it. It's kind of a scary thought. You know, we were involved with the ASC plastic study where we were able to take water samples and submit to the lab to see how much plastic is in per liter of water and they've determined that it's 12 12 pieces of plastic per liter of water worldwide and so now the phytoplankton is eating the plastic and this is demonstrative of how this plastic gets into our food chain the phytoplankton eats it then bigger fish eat the phytoplankton so on and so forth so the next time you sit down to that lobster dinner or shrimp just think about all the bits of plastic you're going to be eating Thanks, folks. Have a good day. We'll see you next week.